everyone, welcome to Wicked West Books. My name is Meg West and I think I'm gonna have to switch to a Sunday upload time. My work has been very busy this last little while. I worked 50 hours this last week and coming home after working one of the days was I worked an 8 to 8 shift and then filming on top of it there is no energy to the filming because I did film this video already once before but my energy was just so low it really wasn't worth putting more effort into it to edit it and upload it when it wasn't the best that I could do. So this video is basically just to tell you guys how our weekend in Oklahoma City went. It went amazing. We all had a fantastic time on the way up there and then again on the way back we listened to the adventures of tom stranger interdimensional insurance salesman by larry korea because i wanted my friends to hear one of the most ridiculous audiobooks that i have ever heard before and they agreed that it was pretty ridiculous but they also had a really great time listening to it and preferred listening to an audiobook in the car versus music or just it's a two hour drive to Oklahoma City so four hours of conversation on top of spending the rest of the day together so the audiobook was very nice for in the car. So the first stop when we got to Oklahoma City was the Oklahoma Museum of Art because we wanted to do some pictures with the Chihuly Glass. The Oklahoma City Art Museum has a big selection of it and we just I thought since we were going up there that that would make for a great mini photo shoot so that's exactly what we did and there was also a very interesting art display going on where there were dresses that were made of paper including a little stop at the end where you could use construction paper to make your own. After that we were all feeling very hungry so we went to a restaurant called Zorba's and had Mediterranean food and it was delicious as usual. And then we went to Half Price Books where Brittany proceeded to buy out their entire stock of Anita Blake novels, essentially. After that, we went to Barnes & Noble where we spent more time than we meant to looking around because the Barnes & Noble in Oklahoma City has a very giant geek section right at the back. And we got distracted looking at all of the very pretty, pretty things. So when we get to the Lost Circle bookstore, it is pretty packed. There is probably somewhere between 100 and 200 people there, and we all get our books, which were pre-signed. The event itself was a lot of fun. Laurel K. Hamilton is just a really funny person, and she's open to answering pretty much any question that she could, very open about her life and her lifestyle. and. It was a lot of fun just to sit there and listen to her talk. And then after that, we all got to go through and just kind of take a couple of seconds with her to say hello and take a picture with her. And then the event was essentially over. I was one of the people in the last group to actually meet her in person. So by the time I got up there, she was tired and ready to go home, which is, you know, perfectly understandable after saying hello to almost 200 people if not more, I don't know. But because I was so late, we kind of hung around the store just a little bit longer. I wore some not very comfortable shoes, so I sat in a chair for a while, and mostly I just listened while a few other people had a conversation with Laurel Faye Hamilton's husband, who was a very, very nice guy, and just, he was also very happy to meet all of his wife's fans, and it was a pleasure to meet him. And one of the last things that happened for the day before the drive home was I overheard one of the cashiers saying that they had never seen so many transactions on their register from one day. So it worked out really great for them, I think. We all just had a blast. And yeah, it was immense fun to go and I really enjoyed bringing the people I did with me. They made it so much more fun just all day to hang out with people I haven't seen in... A couple of months to the Christmas party last year I think so just so much fun all across the board and definitely highly recommend going to see Laurel K Hamilton speak if you ever get the chance even if you haven't read her books her point of view on things is very her own and just it was fun it was a lot of fun 
and now I get to look forward to the fact that the author of the Ugly series, which is Scott Westerfeld, is also coming to Oklahoma City next month, I believe on the 13th. It is a Thursday, so we won't be able to spend the entire day in Oklahoma City, but Brittany is going to come with me to go get Ugly signed, and the new book that is coming out in the Ugly series it comes out on the 10th, and it is called Imposters. And Scott Westerfeld is another author that I have been reading for a long time. This this book series I picked up very early in my reading experience, and I loved it. This world is just so its own and beautiful, and I'm really looking forward to getting to see Scott Westerfeld talk and get books signed by him. Also, as I'm sure you've noticed, the bookshelves behind me have fallen into quite a bit of disarray. I participated in exactly two booktubeathon photos on Instagram, and all of my books are still sitting on my floor for one of the photos that I made. So I'm thinking about rearranging my bookshelves, and I kind of want to put it back in color and maybe start filming a little bit further away so that the rainbow can come across the entire thing. I have an idea for it, so I'm looking forward to hopefully implementing that in the next week or two. It might take me a while to get to it. I'm busy with work and stuff, so they might just sit in pretty piles right over there. Anyway, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already. I will be posting videos every Sunday from now until probably forever. Thank you guys for watching and have a wicked day.